Okay, this is well, uh, week two. A lot of you started this week early. Um, week two, we are, first of all, signing up for a Get to Know You Hangout with me. And this is the week that they start on August 30th, I believe. Yeah. So I have um, posted schedules from on Tuesdays and Thursdays for Get to Know You Hangouts. Remember, if those times don't work for you, then you can just send me an email and we'll find another time. This is due October 12th. If you do it this week, you can go into week 8, assignment 8.1, and submit that assignment early since the whole course is open. So do that first. Make sure you're signed up. Um, we have a plagiarism agreement. That's pretty self-explanatory if you look at the lesson. Then I want you to join Actively Learn. And if you have already experienced Actively Learn in a previous class, you won't need to uh, completely join Actively Learn, but you'll need to join our class. So regardless of if you've used Actively Learn before or not, you still need to complete this assignment to get enrolled into our class. Um, you'll participate in this KWL. You'll fill out the first two sections of this Google Doc, what you know about the Merchant of Venice already and what you would, and for the W, what you would like to know about the Merchant of Venice. At the end of the class we'll come back to it and you'll fill out the last part for an assignment credit of what you have learned after reading and studying in the Merchant of Venice. I'm going to have you read um, this resource. It has some video links too that will give you some context for the Merchant of Venice and there's a practice quiz in here about um, the plot of the Merchant of Venice. Then you'll go into actively learn and begin reading the Merchant of Venice in there. The thing that I need you to remember is you will be reading it in actively learn but you will also need to have your copy of the Merchant of Venice, the hard copy that you should have gotten in orientation. This is the Folger Shakespeare version of the book. So as you read along, I want you to be reading uh, the hard copy and then go into actively learn and answer the questions. Um, some of the questions that will be on the quiz later will be based on the annotations that are in the play. You're welcome to use your book as you answer the questions and actively learn and as you take the quiz. Um, this isn't something you need to memorize, but you need to know where to go to find answers. So again, you're going to be reading Actively Learn, you'll be reading the hard copy together. Um, we have a grammar review and a review grammar quiz and then a quiz on the first act of The Merchant of Venice at the end of the week. Um, I just want to again call your attention to the top of the course. There is a No Fear Shakespeare version of The Merchant of Venice here that has a translation of the text in more understandable modern English. There's also a, an audiobook version, version of The Merchant of Venice that you can listen to as you read the play. And if you scroll down, because our whole course is open, like I said, you can actually watch the film versions of the play first if you like. Um, these film links, they're, they're just, it's a movie broken up into parts because it was too big to put one link for the whole thing. So you could watch um, these film versions of the play if that would help you um, to watch that first before you go back and read the play. So those are some resources for you to, to help you to understand the language of Shakespeare. And let me go back to week two, see what else we have. I think that's it for the week. Um, just remember as you, sorry, <laughs> as you do your actively learn, you will answer the questions that are in there, but you'll also go through and highlight uh, your favorite passage. You will talk about things that are confusing. You will underline and look up words that you didn't understand, and that is part of um, you'll get credit for doing that. So 10 points for your questions that you answer in Actively Learn and 10 points for the notes and annotations that you add to Actively Learn for that assignment. Um, let me know if you have any questions and we're, um, hopefully that you hopefully you are enjoying the play and we'll have a lot to talk about later.